Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we'll be reviewing some random toys, including some Ninja Turtles toys. Couple figures and a temporary playset until I get the Mutant Mayhem playset to go on my Ninja Turtles shelf. So this container will be serving as my temporary base operations for my Ninja Turtles figures. We're going to look at the big figure first, and this is my walk and talk, Leonardo. So we're going to turn him on. Try me. Gonna press the button on his chair. It's turtle time. He makes he says that. Let's crush the crane. Have to turn his head back. Turtle power. He says turtle power. It's Shredder. Get him. He says that. <laughs> he says the foot has met their match. Any burps? Well, you know. Katana crackdown. Katana crackdown. He said that was cool. High three. High three. Three hundred and sixty degrees of turtle power. Three hundred and sixty degrees of turtle power. I don't have his swords, as you can see, and that was a a noise-making musical gimmick. It's here to feel my blade of justice. Here to feel my blade of justice. It's turtle time. It's turtle time. Let's crush the crane. And that's all he says in this figure. And this figure is from 2012. So this is an old school Ninja Turtles figure. So mine is 2020. We're going to put 10 and minus 2 is roughly 18 years ago. Add 3 onto that. And that will be 11, that'll be 9, 10, 11 years ago. This figure came out 11 years ago. So not a bad looking figure for an 11 year old figure. I definitely like this. It walks, it talks, and it makes noise. But just because I'm gonna show what it does when it walks and talks, okay? Just because you're gonna ask me that. And he says it's turtle time. <laughs> Let's press his button and see him walk. And yes, I love this figure. He walks, he talks, he burps, and makes a lot of noise. I love this toy. Especially for a 2012 figure I found at the Goodwill outlet. This is one of my new favorite TMNT figures now. If have any articulation except for in the arms and probably in the head a little bit. But other than that, a good looking figure. Shame I don't have his weapons. Or he would have been more awesome with his weapons. Now let's get back to this video. First on the list, we got this Ryan's World figure. And this is a Ryan's World Dragon Knight. And it reminds me of the Dragon Warrior from... Uh, Aragon, or the uh, dragon from the uh, Lord of the Rings ring race. Dragon, the guy riding the dragon, so from Lord of the Rings. So that's a nice throwback for me, and definitely going on my medieval shelf, because this is a cool looking piece. 
I'll find a place to put it and you'll see it as I show off the room probably next week. Before I go to Steel City Con and show off my entire toy haul. But yeah, next we got this model kit medieval knight figure block figure. It's a nice looking horse. He's like to battle and junk. Well, Rohan. And yeah, he can hold weapons on his back. I gave him the mace and the sword. And he is ready to gallop in the battle. Boom, 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 boom. And the figure's got a lot of articulation in the feet, in the arms, in the head, and a nice looking face. What do you know? Ch chest moves a bit. So yeah, so much articulation. And this is a brand, is a model kit that's used. I might try to get a more complete one, but for now, this is my first one of this model kit, and I love this kit. Definitely one of my new favorite model kit picks up that's been already assembled. This is going on the shelf. Indefinitely. So let's move that to the Lord of the Rings shelf. Because yeah, that guy is good enough to go on the Lord of the Rings shelf. So another figure for the Lord of the Rings collection. And let's look at the box. Shows off the other figure you can build, but I'm missing all the parts for it. I might have to get another figure, another one of these kits and assemble another horse and the another two knights of this and have a set of them on my shelf. So they'll look good either way. I'm not going to open up the box. It's missing a lot of parts. So, yeah. Next on the list, we got a 2018 Ninja Turtles figure of the Rise of Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. And this is the third one in my collection. I I have almost all four of the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Half shell, turtle power. Couldn't help that. So we got three of the Ninja Turtles. I don't have their original weapons. But if I get their original weapons, they will be displayed. But I got two nunchucks from Michelangelo. And this is my first playset that we can add them into. So let's open up the playset. Put Leonardo in there, being like, let's hang out in our new cool lair. Talk about high tech. And the security door is wonderful, Leonardo, sir. Yeah. It's good to be back in the city. You flip this out, and it's got a dart board. You open this up as well. And you got room for all your turtles and probably your foot soldiers if you want to put a foot soldier in there. But yeah, this is my temporary play set until I get this money from my dad and I'm getting the Rise of the Ninja Turtles play set for the new movie coming out August 2nd. I'll probably wait to go see that. But I'm definitely going to see that and I'm watching all the Ninja Turtles series I can. I've watched all the Ninja Turtles series and movies I got. Plus, I got 1986 Turtles to watch. And debate if I want to own figures. But yeah, I've got another near-complete set of Ninja Turtles this year. So we're going to move the play set onto the shelf later on today. But when I replace it, I'm probably going to use it as a foot headquarters. Next on the list, we got some Power Rangers. And these are the 90s Power Rangers. We got the Blue Ranger plush. It's Morphin Time. Tri not Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops. It's Morphin Time. Triceratops. Blue Ranger. Hiya. 
And yeah, this figure moves due to the arms. Head moves slightly, but it doesn't have articulation. This is my second Power Ranger plush next to the Pink Ranger. It's going on my shelf. And here we got the vintage 90s Black Ranger. And, and this is not the Retro Morph one, but it is the Black Ranger. Flip his head, and look at that. It's Zack from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon. Oh yeah, Zack is back in town. And, I, and it's more phenomenal. It's good to be back, world. And it's morphin' time. hi -ya! And you morph him back to the Black Ranger. This figure I got for 50 cents. If you wonder where I got that in the TMNT. I got the TMNT from the Goodwill Outlet, plus that 90s plush. And I got this from a yard sale for 50 cents and a Captain America. He's missing his weapons, but other than that, he is complete, no leg breakage, bend at the knee for a 90s figure, arms move out that far, pretty good. He's got some paint wear there, I'll have to do some repairs to his paint or something, and not a bad looking figure. Screws are a little rusted, but other than that, it's a pretty good figure from the 90s, and I'm so glad I picked that up at the flea market. And for all you Disney fans tomorrow, this is everything we're reviewing tomorrow, which is my last week before August. And then we're gonna be reviewing Transformers, and before the con, it'll be regular figures. So we are reviewing some more action figures tomorrow. Stay tuned for that video when we review some 90s Ninja Turtles, when we review some 90s Disney characters, and be done for the week. Sorry if I got confused. Oh, and a shout out to all of you who subscribe to my channel and help me reach my subscriber goal of 400 subscribers, 401 subscribers. You guys rock, you are all awesome, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.